Alright guys, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that is EDC. Uh, got a bunch of gear in front of you here. Um, this is only a, a fraction of all of the cool stuff that I have. Um, and if you watch my collection overview update, um, you can see all that stuff. So if you haven't checked that out, please go check it out after this. Um, but... I just want to talk about um, what goes into my EDC, and um, I don't want to do this in the conventional way where I show you like what's in my pocket today or what's in my pocket once a month, but I do want to talk about some of the gear and how I structure my specific EDC. So I've got a couple of different options here, and um, we're just going to hop into uh in, into the first thing and the first thing is like a core knife so that's some sort of full size to large knife that is going to be my primary carry uh, for the day slash week whatever you know it depends on what's going on but um this uh strider uh smf in double gunner grip with the grid pattern is one of my favorites right now Post the gathering, um, you know, I've got the umnums on, right? And these are on the large side for me. Um, an SNG, which I have right here, is a little bit more like within that that realm of, of reasonability. And I do have a bunch of other knives. Like I said, uh, it, I'm just, these are what I have on hand. This is what I grabbed for the video. Um, but this is probably, uh, you know, about, about normal for me. Um, some sort of full size, uh, carry for the primary. And then I always like to, uh, try and work in, uh, a, a smaller knife. Oh, that's kind of messy. <laughs> uh, a smaller knife to just have on hand, um, something that's a little bit less intimidating, something that's a little bit more, um, you know, palatable depending on the environment. And then, um, maybe not so overkill if I'm just looking for some, some quick detail work, I don't have to worry about wielding around all that extra, extra knife. Um, so I like to have something like this in my pocket. Uh, this is a slip joint from Serge Pinchenko, uh, Serge and Knife Co. You know, it could be something like a Microtech a UTX 85 could be something like this Strider PT with the dish cam. Something uh, that's a little bit compact so that I can just whip it out. You know, it's not gonna raise too many bells uh, and I can get whatever I need to cut done and uh, back in my pocket. Um, if I can, depending on what I'm doing for the day, I like to have a fixed blade. Um, and I know I just whipped out three knives. Um, that's how I carry. I live in Alaska. Um, I can carry a whole lot of stuff. And at the end of the day, you might go, oh, that's so unnecessary. It's fun. I like having like a fully fleshed out EDC. So that's part of the reason why I carry so much like nonsense uh, to some people. I use my knives, uh, as you can probably tell. <laughs> um, they do get carried. They do go in and out of their sheath. If no other reason than, you know, enjoyment. So uh, this is a Dirty Bird uh, Fox Mod 3. And, um, you know, this is a nice little, um, fixed blade to have a uh, full size, um, fixed blade, uh, not quite as big as something, uh, not quite as unwieldy, you know, uh, concealment is a big deal for these guys just being kind of inconspicuous. Um, you know, you got the sheath and all that. I usually like throw on a mummer or, um, a tactical, uh, ulti clip. Um, actually these guys come with an ulti clip. That's my preferred way to carry, but, um, yeah, and then we got a Gavco, little EDC knife. Gavco is one of the greats, just something compact. Again, quick, easy to get out of your pocket, easy to use, easy to put away, um, and uh, it's really useful to have uh, a fixed blade on your person, depending on what the day calls for. So, um, yeah, that one is uh, a fan favorite. And again, guys, I'm going to say this a ton. If you haven't watched my uh, collection updates, I have a fixed blade and a folder collection update overview. Um, there's a ton of stuff. I just took a sampling of some of my favorites that I do like to switch in. Um, and then the EDC stuff has not been covered, so we'll cover that now. Um, we'll just go over to uh, more practical stuff. Keys, 
I have a, one of the thickest key bars I have ever seen, um, and that is because I have a lot of stuff. I, I uh, currently uh, do do a bunch of different things, so I've got a bunch of different keys. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you don't even use all of them. Uh, I do, or I did. Um, I, I recently changed jobs, and so uh, I still have those old keys in here um, because of my relationship with that, that organization. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I've got a bunch of, of new keys in here as well. So uh, the thick ass key bar in titanium, I've had this for a long, long time, and it is so much more useful uh, than it may look. And uh, it, it's way better than having all these keys on just a, a key chain. So, um, and of course, I got my car keys, a um, little Strider dog tag, which is sick from the gathering. Uh, the magnets are super useful. I actually use these to clip onto my workbench area because it's got a bunch of metal on it. And uh, I can grab both of my keys and, and run out the door if they're not in my, uh, in my dump pack. Um, and obviously they stick together like that. So, um, and then, uh, a pen, I always try and carry some sort of writing utensil now, especially after I got these guys, I did do a video on all three of the ones that I have from urban survival gear. Um, some of the best pens in the game, in my opinion, I highly recommend you check it out, but, uh, always have a pen on my person. Um, or pencil I will say I carry this a little bit less because uh, the leads a little bit fragile that I've got in it right now and um, more often than not I need a pen uh, for just quick notes and this is more for sketching and stuff so um, if I carry this it's usually in conjunction with some other some other writing utensil I do carry other pens but I love to carry my uh, my nice EDC pens um, as for pocket trinkets um, I'm going to start working this guy in, uh, well, sorry, we'll, we'll take a step back here. Um, more often than not in the useful department, uh, a lighter, um, having a lighter, uh, is something that I didn't used to carry a ton. I had lighters, but I, I just didn't carry like a Zippo or anything. You'd be surprised at how much I, uh, need this, whether it's fixing some, some, uh, some of your gear, uh, you just need to like get those little strings that are, that are creeping off, uh, you tie them down. Um, this comes in handy a lot. And like I said, I live in Alaska. It's nice to have the fire capacity. Um, we're starting to get down to 30 degrees. It's, it's, uh, end of October. Um, there's snow outside. Um, so it's kind of nice to have something to make fire just in my pocket. Cause you never know, um, when you're gonna, when you're gonna need it. Um, now I will say I've never used it in that capacity, but I do like to carry it again, just to have a full EDC. Uh, I, I do not use this on the daily, but I have used it in the past. And, uh, there have been times where I didn't have it. And I said, I'm bringing my lighter tomorrow to work so that I can fix some of these problems that I'm having. And, uh, I like to fidget with them as well. So, um, yeah, I have a little, uh, butane zippo insert from the official zippo um i like this because like i said uh it's one well i i don't always use the lighter so i'm not using all that fuel if you have a regular zippo uh they dry up and it's just another piece of gear to maintain so this way set it and forget it just refill it with butane once i see that flame starting to get low and uh it works pretty well so uh i also have this guy here the strider one uh, again, like I said before, it's all about options for me. So that's why I do this sort of hobby um, is so that I have different options of stuff to carry. And that's where I derive my joy from. So um, yeah, there's a quick swap. And now I've got a different piece of gear uh, that's really cool and collectible. And I'm going to use it because otherwise it's just boring and it sits on a shelf. So uh, lighter, uh, one of those more important things. For fidget factor, I always like to have a coin or two. Um, this is a personal favorite, the high -tex, um high tech Strider uh, Gunner Grip coin. Uh, just nice to have that texture on there and um, rounds out an EDC. That is Thai, uh, USN coin, you know, nothing too special. Again, no function. 
this is a piece of gear you might not have seen before. It's from uh, Jay Wojtas, I think. Uh, <laughs> Jesse, I don't know. Um, JW uh, Knives on Instagram. Uh, but he makes these little pocket levels. Uh, I thought this was going to be a lot smaller and more like smaller than one of those coins. But it is a cool piece of gear. Pretty thick. Um, I, I, will, I don't carry this that often. But again, just one of those options that I have. I don't really use this so um, I'm, I'm still looking for a use case uh, it, feel free to roast me on this one guys I, I like this stuff it's really cool it's really well made um, and I think some of the smaller pocket levels or uh, compasses would be more useful um, I, I just had no idea how big that would be I mean it, it's bigger than uh, than a coin <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, and I mean, if I am going to carry something like that, or if I don't have enough room in my pockets, you might say, oh, your pockets are really heavy, man. I'll have something like one of my pouches. Uh, well, this is the only pouch that I have. Uh, this is garage built gear, and you can put all your stuff in there. I don't have anything in it right now because I recently cleaned it out. But um, that's one way to augment your EDC, throw this in a bag. Um, EDC bags, I've got a couple different options uh, just depending on what I'm doing. Got the scoop on there. But um, yeah, having something like this is just nice to have, especially when you collect gear like I do. Um, I may not have room in my pants for all this stuff, but I like to keep it on me. Um, some cargo pants, I usually have a bag if I'm going out for the day. Um, toss it in there and we're good to go. Uh, getting into the more like trinket things. Um, I've got this guy. This was a gift from Marissa Strider, Copper Nail. Um, I'm going to make a sheath for this and probably start carrying it. Um, it is nice to have something nice and pointy. Uh, you know, if I don't have something like this where I've got that nice fine point, and again, you know, being able to choke up on this, I get a lot more detail uh, in, in this guy. Get that in focus. Um, so something like this is pretty useful. If you're not familiar, Strider makes a bunch of different nails and they make them out of different tool steels and stuff like that, um, out of scraps from their, their uh, water jet trees. Um, so I do like to have something uh, generally like this. And that's where, you know, if I have uh, different knives have the different tip. And so I, I have found it very useful. But again, that's just here to give you, give you an idea of, of some of the random stuff that I'll throw in my pocket for funsies. Nux, again, when are you ever going to use one of these guys? But it is nice to have for rounded out EDC. If you follow me on Instagram, Polar Knife Steel, um, you will see these guys a lot um, in, in pocket dumps and stuff. Um, do I use them? Probably not. I have like open bottles with this guy, um, but you know, it's not the type of thing I'm running around uh, punching stuff with. So, um, again, just rounding out an EDC. They are fun to have, and I suppose they would work if you ever needed them. Um, but yeah, so from here, I would just you know go ahead and, and take my, my pick. And just to give you an idea, we're going to do a live uh, EDC uh, arrangement here. We've got the Strider. We'll grab the, uh, well, I guess I got some, some full size, so we'll grab the, the little mini. We'll grab, yeah, something like this. And grab the omnums on. So this is really what's going to be in my pocket on any given day is um, some some combination of these guys, and that about does it for me. Um, I usually won't carry any more than uh, this arrangement. If I have four knives on me, it's a it's a weird day, <laughs> um, and I'm probably doing something else. But you know, you gotta have the car keys, gotta have all the keys for your job. Um, fixed blade, nice to have. Again, one of the first things to go a lot. Well, actually, I would say the secondary little folder is one of the first things to go. Fixed blade is next. Um, coin uh, would actually probably go before either of those two. Um, sorry, I'm a little out of order, guys, but. You know, this is the essentials uh, for an EDC. Like, if I'm going out, uh, I will not carry anything less than this um, unless, you know, I absolutely don't need to be going into work or near work, anything at all, or if I'm not driving. Um, but I, I usually will carry it. And this other stuff is just on a on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on how I'm feeling. 
um, and having something, you know, really depends on the day, but it's all about options, guys. Let me know in the com. Oh, uh, and a wallet. Um, I didn't pull this out just cause it's not a cool piece of gear and it is just whatever. Um, but let me know in the comments down below guys, uh, what you carry, what you think is an everyday essential that I don't have. Um, I did forget my pry bars. Uh, give me one second. Totally spaced it, but uh, a pry bar, pocket pry bar, is uh, super useful to have on hand. Um, and, you know, I'd, I'd put these probably in the same category of, you know, just a little augment to the EDC. Um, I like my Mr. Nice Bar. does a really good job for me. And, uh, yeah, you know, having a little bottle opener. Um, if you've ever carried a knife, you know that um, having this sort of pry tool uh, it is, is nice to have so that you're not damaging your knife, um, and you can use it. So, um, you know, that is the big part of the EDC. Sorry guys. So uh, the, when I started this video off, I said, it's all about, um, options, uh, pocket organizer, and then a torch driver. Very useful to have, um, just throughout the day. You never know when you're going to need one of these guys. It's perfect to throw in a pouch. Like I was talking about earlier, but I have carried these in my pocket before. Pocket organizer makes it a little easier to compact all your stuff together. And if you got something like, uh, where is my surge? It just disappeared on me. Here we go. Um, take one of these guys and drop it right inside there. Um, this is a nice way to organize your pen, your uh, smaller EDC, and then still be able to throw something like the Umnum in your pocket. And it's not going to be bumping up and... Uh, you know, scraping on everything around it. Um, torch driver, don't need a whole lot of uh, explanation behind those. Again, you know, just something to have. It's all about options, depending on what I'm doing, what I'm going out for that day. Um, I'll, I'll carry these different things. So it, it does take some planning. Um, the essentials I kind of went over, but you know, if I'm carrying a specific knife that I know has some centering issues, um, then I might take one of these with me. Um, if I know that I'm going out snowboarding or something, I might, uh, throw the pack in the car and just have all my torque spits around. Um, really depends on the day and what I'm doing. Um, so that is about it for me guys. I know I covered a lot and I know I jumped around a little bit, still new to the YouTube thing, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I've got a lot of different gear over the years and, um, you know, for me every day, it's, it's about switching it up, getting some different stuff in there and just really having fun with this, what, what's in your pockets. But again, let me down, let me know down in the comments below what you carry, what's in your everyday pockets. Um, do you think this is too much stuff? Do you think this is not enough stuff? Are you cargo pants exclusively? You wearing jeans and a t-shirt? Uh, let me know what your lifestyle carry is and I'd love to hear it. Is start a conversation in the comments down below. And uh, if you haven't already, go check out my um, my uh, collection overviews because there's a lot of stuff in here and I am constantly swapping out, especially the knives. Uh, I'm working on the gear uh, for now, but the gear is um, a lot less robust than my knife collection. So uh, check that out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that you do to people you like. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.